We're gonna have to do this video quickly before my makeup runs out as I'm doing it because it's so freaking hot. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Akronamu and for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my everyday makeup routine. It basically takes me like 10 minutes. Why? Because I don't like getting ready every single day. So I have like four steps that I take with my makeup so that I can look, I don't know, together for the day. Like I'm so used to just leaving the house without doing my makeup or whatever. But since I technically film every single day, well, most days of the week i try and look as presentable as possible and that includes doing something on my face for makeup now yeah it's hard and i can't open the window because the construction next to us freaking loud so let's just start with this i've already prepped my skin um i have sunscreen moisturizer and all that i'm gonna show you guys in a different video my skincare morning routine i've already done like night skincare morning routine if you want to see that so this is here or here it's somewhere okay so i'm gonna show you guys my morning but it's basically kind of similar i don't like having like a long routine because i'm lazy okay so if i have like a mega 15 step morning skincare routine i am not gonna do it so i try and make it as minimal as possible as with my everyday makeup which i'm going to show you right now before my skin starts to peel off <laughs> so first things first i'll start with concealer yeah it might not be the way um you're allowed to do your makeup but i don't care i start with concealer um I'm using where is the lead to this? I'm I, I lost it, but this is the black opal. I'm assuming total coverage concealer. So I always use this at the as my base. Why? I don't know. It's what I do. So I literally just use it to like cover the spots, just make my skin a little bit more, you know, flawless. Cause this is like my no makeup makeup routine. Like I try to make it as minimal as possible, so I don't walk around with a freaking um, full face of makeup. Actually, <laughs> I just try and make it as simple as possible. Okay, so guys, next I go in with my Black Opal True Color um, Foundation. This is a matte foundation, but for some reason it ran. So, anywho, it's medium coverage. So, I just do a little bit of it all across my face um, just to bring in the color because the concealer is way much lighter than me. So, this kind of like, you know, helps to blend a little and also. I don't know, I'm, it's called foundation, it's supposed to go underneath, but anyway, who cares? So I'm just gonna do dots everywhere so that, that little product that I have on my brush can go everywhere. But I don't like use a lot of it because I don't like like so much foundation, like since the beginning, even when I'm doing like, not this is very simple, even when I'm doing like full glam, I try to use as little foundation as possible because like I said, this foundation runs on my skin and gives me that weird shiny look on my face so i try and avoid using so much foundation because i don't like having that kind of extremely oily skin and have makeup on my face is already extremely oily so maybe i should change my foundation maybe i should look for extreme matte foundation because of my very oily skin Now sometimes when I feel like it, I use contour. So since this is a video, I'm gonna go in with contour. Um, I use this Note palette. It's um, a contouring, bronzing, and highlighter palette. So I use the very dark one at the very end to conceal. Not to conceal, but like to contour. 
and I just like going in an upward motion because I don't know I feel like my face is shaped that way so I just do a little contouring not a lot That's the most contouring that I do. And then we're gonna go in with my fluffy brush just to, you know, try and set everything in before I use my setting powder. Just trying to blend everything in. And then now it's time to cake my face. Not really, I don't even bake it, I just cake it. Literally, I just put a, a weird amount of. <laughs> powder on it because like I said my skin gets very very oily and shiny so child I just put a lot of powder on it especially for this look like I said I don't do this look how like regular people do it I just try as much as possible not to have a makeup face so do you see the difference? I don't think you can see. This side and this side. I just want, it blends in very quickly. So this side looks a little bit more packed. This one has some shininess <laughs> to it. And I don't like that shiny. I only like to look that shiny when I have my skincare done. Because I know my skin is healthy. But not the makeup. I don't like shiny makeup. Now the T-zone deserves extra attention. <laughs> My forehead it just deserves extra attention. So everything packed. Now afterwards <laughs> to bring some colors to my face I will now <laughs> I'm gonna blush I'm gonna use my blush okay so I'm very messy with makeup I'm gonna see I'm ready to make this to find myself so I'm just gonna go in I'm using this amuse contour and define palette they have like a blush over here so that's kind of what I go with I just use blush just to get some color to my face I just don't want to look like a doll just a little I use quite a lot and then I blend in I just like to do a lot of blending I over blend let's just say Now that's it of course it looks too much one so I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush again and just blend it out without any product on I just blend it with just the fluffy brush you just blend it in we're almost done literally we're almost done next I'm gonna go in with my black opal simple volumizing mascara and Weirdly, I'm gonna use this on my eyebrows because I don't feel like doing the whole, you know, eyebrow journey. So I'm gonna brush it just a little bit with the mascara brush. Then I'm gonna use the same mascara brush to now do my eyelashes. Now for the optimal, <laughs> optimal, for the optimal last step, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Heat um, lip gloss. It has a very calming and cooling effect, and it smells so good. So I just do that. It has a weird. Um, cooling sensation when you put it on um, I think maybe it's because of the like eucalyptus eucalyptus what? eucalyptus and stuff of course I put on my hair last just 
because I can not really like work on my face with hair on on my big one because I am gonna like you see I already get makeup especially this one is colored so I might get a lot of makeup on it so I just try as much as possible to avoid doing my makeup with my wig one. So guys, that is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below more you want to see on my channel. And with that guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her